Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to print multiple copies of one picture onto one sheet of paper inside of Photoshop Elements, two different versions on how to do this. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, make sure you hit share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications of new videos. And to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. There are two basic ways to print multiple copies of the same image on one sheet of paper instead of Photoshop Elements. I'll be showing you the easy automated way and the one that takes just a little bit more work, but it's manual and you can get things laid out exactly the way that you want. I'll first switch over here to the organizer and that's where we have the automated version. I'll just go ahead and bring that up. Here we are inside of the organizer and there's my picture right there. It says edit in progress because this is also open in the editor at the moment, but we can still print this even though it's in editing. Let's just go up to the file menu and come down to print right there. This brings up the standard print dialog box. Now, when you want to switch over to multiple copies, come down here to section four and change this to picture package. And then up here on section three, make sure you set for your standard paper size. This is the letter size paper right there at the top. Okay, now the picture package gives you a bunch of options down here on how to fill this with different pictures. You also need to come down here where it says fill page with first photo, check that. And we then have multiple pictures on one page. There it is. Now, if you don't want to have these changed in size, uncheck crop to fit. Okay, now on here, lots of options as you can see, but they're still a little bit limited. Here is two at three by five. We already have that one. Here is two at four by six. There we go. Two at five by seven. And that's just about as big as you can go on this to fit on that sheet of paper. Here's three four by sixes. And if you notice, some of these choices won't fit properly onto your page. Let's just get that out of the way. There we go. There it is. It's a bit squeezed. Notice that we're cutting the head off up here. It's a little bit better on this one. The bottom is cut off on this side. And keep in mind that there's also a thin white border that will be around your page on most printers. So that's going to be cutting in even further. So even though it says it can fit over here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it actually will fit. So some of these will work, some of these won't, depending upon the size of paper that you have selected. Here's four three by five, that fits just fine. Here's four three by five and a half, that doesn't fit, they get cut off on the sides. Again, that bit may not be important. Here's two by five, three by five. So you know, it depends what your uses are. This might be all you need if you do a little bit of trimming in here, that may not be important for your needs. So that's just one thing to keep in mind here. But in most cases, that's what you can do. Just go through here, choose your sizes. Now notice that you're only limited here on certain specific sizes. You can't lay these out any way you want to, and these may not be the sizes that you want. So if you want to have a more custom way to do multiple prints, we'll do that over in the editor. But here you go, if you wanna do this the easy, fast way, and that's inside of the Photoshop Elements Organizer. My computer two, three by fives, that fits just fine. So make sure your paper size is set for your standard paper size, whatever your printer can handle. Make sure that your type of print is set to picture package, and then choose the layout you want down here. And then make sure that fill page with first photo is checked and crop to fit is not checked. And then you're all set to go. Okay, let's just cancel that out. And now we'll switch back over to the editor and see how to lay out a page over there manually in case that's a better option for you. Okay, here we are inside of the editor, and this is a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I just got that by making a new file, blank file, and then just set that for US paper right there. If you're going for a printout, you wanna have the resolution at 300. Then just choose okay, and you get this. I also have my picture open up over here. I'm just gonna drag this in just like that, then bring that in as its own layer. You can then position that any way you want to. Now this image is at four by six. So if I made this half as big, it would be a two by three. So let's go ahead and do that. Now for this, we want to make a duplicate of this layer. So right here where you have the name, right click on the name and choose duplicate layer. 
choose OK, and just pull that down. That's our duplicate. There you go. There's two 4x6s. I want to change this down to half this size. Let's switch over to our tool options right here. And notice up here that the image has this kind of little funny icon, bottom right hand corner. That is showing that this is a smart object. And that can make things a little bit confusing. You can get some odd numbers down here in the tools options. Now, since we're reducing this, this is not going to matter really. So I'm just going to right click on the name here. And let's come down and choose simplify layer. That converts it from a smart object into a regular layer. And now we'll get some consistent numbers down in our tool options. Okay, next thing, hold the control key down and tap on the T key. That brings up your transform options down here. Make sure that constraint proportions is checked. I'm going to change this down to 50%. And with constraint proportions, this also moves at the same time. Then just choose OK. There we go. This is now half as big. That's a 4 by 6. So this is now a 2 by 3. And there's one. I can put that anywhere I want to, as you can see. Let's make a copy of this one. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. It'll be sitting right on top. So let's pull that over like that. And then just continue to do this. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. Pull that one down. I'll put it right here. And then right click and duplicate layer again. Choose OK and pull that over. And now you can print this page out and you have your multiple copies. So it's really just a matter of deciding what size you want to have your additional copies in and then using those on separate layers. You can then lay this out any way you want to so that it will fit properly onto your page. If you want to make something an exact size, let me just delete three of these. Actually, I'll delete all four. Get rid of that. Let's go up here. I'm going to make a copy of this one. Right click and duplicate this layer. Choose OK. Pull that down. There we go. Let's say I wanted this one at a larger size than this, just a little bit, say, you know, five by seven. Again, do the Control T keyboard shortcut. Now notice we're in the smart layer right here. I've made a copy of that still smart layer, smart object. And notice we get odd numbers down over here. That's the problem with this. It doesn't really give you what I consider accurate numbers down here. So to change that, I'm just going to, again, simplify this layer. Right click and simplify. We'll now get accurate numbers. Control T keyboard shortcut. There we go. We now have accurate numbers in here. If I click over here, right click, we can change the measurement to inches. That's our width. I'm going to change this to 7 inches. And then this, if I go over here, right click, and inches. That's pretty close. Let me just change this back here to 7. And there we go. Choose OK. So there's basically a 5 by 7, but still keeping the same ratio. 5 by 7 is a different ratio than 4 by 6, so it's not exactly 5 tall. It's a little shorter than that. But there you go. That's how you can get a specific size. Just come in here, make your duplicate layer, simplify your layer, and then use the Control T keyboard shortcut. Right click in your measurements, change to inches, and you can then type in what you want. So there we go. That's how to do multiple copies on one sheet and to have control over the sizes and make them exactly the way you want. Again, two ways. The fast, easy way over in the organizer, but you're limited on your choices. And the accurate way over here in Photoshop Elements, but it just means making your own layers and doing your own layout. All right, there you go. Printing multiple copies of an image on one sheet of paper. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share. Don't forget to click on subscribe as well. And also take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.